aging is marked by a set of biological changes known as the hallmarks of aging. These hallmarks represent core processes that drive the gradual decline in physiological function and increases our vulnerability to diseases as we grow older. Scientists believe that these hallmarks help us understand why people who are of the same age chronologically can look and function differently. This is what determines your biological age. To learn more about this and how your biological age can affect your health span, tune into this video. Back to the hallmarks of aging. As of this video in 2025, there are 12 hallmarks of aging in the study of geroscience or aging research. The study of the aging process is a rapidly evolving field, so we may even have more than 12 soon. For now, the most widely recognized hallmarks include genomic instability, telomere attrition, epigenetic alterations, loss of proteostasis, deregulated nutrient sensing, mitochondrial dysfunction, cellular senescence, stem cell exhaustion, and altered intercellular communication. Recent updates have expanded this list to include chronic inflammation, disabled macroautophagy, and dysbiosis. By understanding these mechanisms, scientists and doctors can evaluate how interventions target specific hallmarks. For example, a supplement claiming to improve mitochondrial health should address mitochondrial dysfunction. Therapies like synolytics target cellular senescence. So let's briefly explore the implications behind each hallmark. Genomic instability is the buildup of DNA damage and mutations that occur over time, resulting in impaired cellular function. This instability plays a role in the development of various conditions, including cancers, neurodegenerative diseases, infertility, and autoimmune diseases. And it also affects many of the other hallmarks of aging. Telomere attrition refers to the shortening of chromosome ends or telomeres, which limits cell division and promotes aging. It particularly affects high turnover organs, such as the cardiovascular system, lungs, and liver. Shortened telomeres impair the vascular smooth muscle cells, leading to atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, and heart failure. In the lungs, the damage to the alveolar and epithelial cells contributes to pulmonary fibrosis. And in the liver, shortened telomeres are associated with cirrhosis and liver dysfunction. Epigenetic alterations are changes in how genes are expressed without changing the DNA sequence, impacting cell identity and function. Key processes like DNA methylation, histone modifications, and chromatin remodeling play a significant role in gene expression. One well-studied form of epigenetic drift is age-associated DNA methylation drift, which can be measured to estimate biological aging using an epigenetic clock known as Horvath's clock. Epigenetic drift consists of random and unpredictable changes in these mechanisms that accumulate over time as we age, contrasting with the more regulated programmed epigenetic modifications that occur during development. It is estimated that around 66 to 75% of the accuracy of the Korvath clock comes from these random changes. Epigenetic clocks track specific DNA methylation changes that correlate with biological age. Interestingly, individuals who live a long time, like centenarians, often show a lower epigenetic age compared to their chronological age, indicating that slower epigenetic drift may be associated with longevity. The rate of epigenetic drift and clock acceleration is influenced by both genetic and environmental factors. While genetic contributions tend to decrease with age, new environmental influences become more significant as people grow older. Different epigenetic clocks measure various aspects of aging, with Horvath's clock being the most widely used due to its applicability across different tissues. Although epigenetic clocks are valuable tools for assessing aging, they might underestimate the age of older individuals. Therefore, it's essential to interpret their relationship with age acceleration with caution and consider age as a relevant factor. 
more about aging clocks in another video. Loss of proteostasis refers to impaired protein folding, maintenance, and clearance, resulting in toxic protein accumulation. Deregulated nutrient sensing refer to the disruption in pathways that sense and respond to nutrients, affecting metabolism and longevity. Mitochondrial dysfunction refers to the decline in mitochondrial energy production and increased oxidative stress, which damage cells. Cellular senescence refers to the accumulation of non-dividing dysfunctional cells that secrete harmful factors. Stem cell exhaustion refers to the reduced regenerative capacity due to depletion or dysfunction of stem cells. Altered intercellular communication refers to disruptive signaling between cells, often leading to chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation, often referred to as inflammation, is the ongoing low-level inflammation that speeds up the tissue damage and the onset of diseases. Disabled macroautophagy refers to impaired cellular recycling processes that result in the buildup of damaged cellular components. Dysbiosis is an imbalance in the gut microbiome that negatively impacts immune and metabolic health. The associated diseases involving these 12 hallmarks are cancer, cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, for example, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, immune dysfunction, metabolic disorders, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic kidney disease, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, sarcopenia, and more. These hallmarks are highly interconnected, often influencing and amplifying each other, which complicates efforts to target aging therapeutically. So how can you use this knowledge to evaluate longevity claims? First, maintain a critical perspective on exaggerated claims. My tip is, understand that aging is a complex process and no single product or therapy can fully reverse it. Be wary of claims that seem overly optimistic. Red flags to watch out for include claims like cures aging or adds decades to your life. Also, a lack of peer-reviewed scientific evidence or clinical trials and watch out for supplements that use proprietary blends without clear dosage information. What to look out for are products or therapies that clearly specify the specific issues they address and provide supporting evidence. Ensure that supplements have undergone third-party testing and certification. Evaluate the quality of data or evidence. A tip is to choose interventions that are backed by peer-reviewed studies, have human clinical trials rather than just animal or lab studies, and also endorsements from reputable scientific organizations or journals. Some examples to consider are, does the NAD Plus booster have clinical trials proving its effectiveness in supporting mitochondrial function and DNA repair? If it's a synolytic therapy, does it effectively target senescent cells to improve tissue health? One action step is to research the active ingredients. For example, nicotinamide riboside or fisetin to confirm that they have been thoroughly studied in credible research. Finally, the good news is that you do not need to rely on fancy tests, devices, or supplements to improve your biological age. Prioritizing lifestyle interventions first are my tip for you. There's a saying that goes, you cannot out supplement a bad habit or lifestyle. This also applies to healthy aging. Many hallmarks of aging are significantly influenced by your lifestyle. Start with this as they are accessible strategies before investing in expensive therapies. Here are some evidence-based strategies. Calorie restriction or intermittent fasting targets nutrient sensing pathways. For example, mTOR and AMPK. A Mediterranean diet reduces inflammation and improves mitochondrial function. Strength training preserves muscle mass and combats stem cell exhaustion. And aerobic exercises boost mitochondrial health and reduces inflammation. Sleep is also important because it supports proteostasis, repairing damaged proteins and assists in DNA repair. Managing stress is also critical. 
because chronic stress accelerates telomere attrition and impacts epigenetic alterations. So practices like mindfulness, yoga, or meditation can help. If you are already doing all of the above consistently and would like to explore emerging therapies, then consider a precise and personalized approach by working with a health provider to evaluate the safety and efficacy of interventions, monitor their side effects, and perform objective assessments before and after the intervention to measure your progress. I'll talk more about this in the upcoming videos. In summary, the hallmarks of aging present a detailed and interconnected framework for understanding the biological underpinnings of aging and its associated diseases. By recognizing these hallmarks, researchers and healthcare professionals can develop targeted interventions that address specific mechanisms of aging, potentially slowing down the aging process and enhancing health span. As a citizen scientist, it's essential for you to first prioritize lifestyle factors and educate yourself about these emerging therapies so you can separate the science from the hype. In the next video, I will discuss the concept of aging clocks, tools that estimate biological age. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this topic, please share and comment below with your thoughts. And for future updates, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video.